Hey, what up y'all? It's me, your boy, Lil D, coming at you from the den with another nursing video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about what we did prior. I want you to comment down below, but what I did prior to becoming a nurse. And I'm also going to tell you about how I came across the name of Lil D. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. I post nursing related videos one to two times a week here on this channel usually on a Tuesday or Wednesday and a Saturday or Sunday, one of those days. But if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that. Now, before I tell you about how we got to the Nurse Lil D channel here, let's talk about what I did prior to becoming a nurse. So my first job, and I'm going to talk about four different things in this video. My first job that I ever official job was working at Subway as a sandwich artist. Now, I worked at Subway for a couple years. I remember me and my mom were eating inside a Subway inside a Walmart, and she told me to fill out an application, so I did. The next day, they called me up, and I got a job interview, which I was so nervous about. I was like looking down the whole time. I'm like, um... I'm looking down the whole time, but they gave me a job and it was pretty awesome because in every shift at my subway, at my subway, I would get a free sandwich and free food in high school was amazing. Now in subway, I worked my way up. I became a shift manager and I don't have the shirt anymore. I was going to wear it. I just recently got rid of all this stuff for some reason, but I became a shift manager and they gave me a little polo with my name. Uh, stitched into it which I thought was really cool but as a shift manager at Subway at the age of 17 and 18 I got a little power hungry and I was just doing the most I was not really a good manager back then I was kind of crazy left notes for my workers to do for stuff to clean and it was just it just wasn't the gig the reason I left that job is because I really just got bored with it. I worked there for a couple of years, like I said, and there was only usually me and one other person working because we we're making sandwiches or me and two other people working at the most, but I wanted something more fun. So before I left this job, I got a job at Wendy's. Now Wendy's was paying me less, but I was having a lot more fun at Wendy's than I was at Subway, and back then I valued that a lot more. So eventually I quit Subway because I was working both and I just worked at Wendy's. Now Wendy's was a lot of fun. I didn't officially get free food, but I got free food, if you know what I mean. And Wendy's is actually where I got the name of Little David. So there was me and another David working there and they called him Big David and they called me Little David and eventually they just started calling me Little D. So that kind of happened back when I was 8, 19 years old, 20 years old. Working at Wendy's though, it was a lot of fun, but it was really, really ratchet. I mean, like the kind of people that I worked with, they would get in fights and stuff. There was one time that I threw a glass of water and so not professional. Please don't look at this if you're going to hire me. But I got a glass of water and I threw it in this guy's face that I worked with because he always came up behind me and was lifting me up in the air. And I just got so mad. It was just really irritating. At this time in my life, I was also just working on my prereqs. I wasn't even working towards nursing at this point. I was just working on prereqs, so I didn't know what I was doing but I was just living my life as a 19 year old, 20 year old, yeah. Believe it or not, fast food is way too stressful for the amount of money that you get paid and the expectations are so high, it's kinda crazy. So I eventually needed to get out of that because the stress, I mean it was a lot of fun, but it was just too stressful and I wanted something that paid more because this Wendy's job actually paid less than my subway job. So I got a job at Lowe's. It took me quite a bit to get a job at Lowe's. I applied maybe three or four times and I would call almost every week to the HR person till I got an interview. But I finally got in and I was making the most money that I ever made, which still wasn't that much, but the most money I ever made. And I was getting bonuses, which is crazy to think about. 
but I got bonuses and it was the least work that I have ever done. The thing with working at Lowe's though, I'm going to tell you work, from experience of working at a hospital and doing 12 hour shifts. Working at Lowe's, sometimes I would work 4 hour shifts and those 4 hour shifts were way longer than my 12 hour shifts. Now obviously not time wise way longer but when I was there as soon as I got in if I knew I only had four hours I was counting the minutes. I was watching the clock after every person I rung up I checked the clock and the time dragged. It was bad. Now I worked with some cool people but at the same time I'm just ringing people up so you don't really talk that much and it just got to be very tedious. Once I got closer to leaving, I told them, hey, my sister, she's going to be a great employee. So I got her a job there. And at that point, I had gotten my CNA license because I was working towards nursing. And I got my first job as a nursing assistant at someone's house. <laughs> now, I said I was only talking about three things, four things, but I guess we're talking about five. I got a job as a nursing assistant and home health. I'd go over to some guy's house for, and I did this for a month, help him get out of bed, get dressed, get showered, clean his house, make him food, which I don't even, I didn't even know how to make myself food, but I would make him food. But this isn't really where I wanted to be. And at this time I was on the nursing waiting list and I knew if I get in, if I got in with this hospital, I could get into the nursing program a whole lot faster. So I worked this job for a month and then I got a job finally in the hospital and when I got that interview I pretty much begged him at the end for the position I said you're not gonna be disappointed I'm not gonna let you down I really really want this job this is what I'm working for I'm gonna stay with you guys all through school and then even after I get my RN license and although he could have went with somebody with actual CNA experience I think he took a chance on me and that's the last time I have interviewed in the past six years. Leave a comment down below telling me what you're doing while in nursing school. Maybe you're not working, which would be kind of cool, but kind of boring also just focusing on school. Or if you're already a nurse, what you did prior to becoming a nurse, was it relevant to nursing or was it like totally irrelevant? Looking back now at all that experience, I would have to say that my favorite one was probably Wendy's because we had the most fun. There was probably like seven or eight of us working at a time. And although I did get in some fights, which is so like, so not me, but gosh, I just got irritated really quickly. But even though we got in some fights, we all would hang out all the time and eat food. And it was just like just living day to day. I didn't care what time I got out. I didn't have a schedule back then. I was just living. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. Check out one of my other nursing related videos right here. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.